Jalen Brunson, 45 points. And the stage is getting brighter. The magnitude is getting bigger. And he's just the same. A stone cold killer out there. Jalen Brunson, man, 45, another 45-point outing. After he hung 43 on the books, he said, nah, I got to come back to Chi-Town and get some revenge on Caruso and them. Cooking Caruso all night. Cooking uh, uh, Javante Green. Here comes the double teams. Okay, here comes the pass. Eight dimes. 13 and 24 from the field. 7 of 12 from downtown. And a perfect night from the free throw line. And a few milestones tonight in terms of, from a personal standpoint, you know, Jalen Brunson is now, uh, you know, he's now recorded consecutive 40-point games for the second time this season. That's third. He's the third Nick to record multiple streaks with consecutive 40-point games in the season. Mm. He joins now Bernard King and Patrick Ewing. So that's one. The second is he's now scored at least 35 points and dished out eight assists in four straight games. He's only the seventh player in NBA history with four straight such games. And when you look at the company, you're talking about Jerry West, Oscar Robinson, Mm. uh, Damian Lillard, James Harden, Luka Dantich, Tiny Archibald, and Dwayne Wade. That's it. I, I mean, mean, that's that's <laughs> I mean, you talk about ha- doing that in a season where you're you should be in the MVP conversation. I mean, I'm sure you'll show it later. Tom Thibodeau had an interesting quote when he was asked about, you know, uh, Jalen Brunson being in the MVP conversation. So that that'll be interesting to see from Tom Thibodeau. Yeah. It looks like he's also paying attention and, and pulling for Jalen Brunson. But at the very least, CP. Playing the, at this point of the season this way with a couple games left is the best thing for the Knicks. Gaining that momentum, going into the playoffs, yep. and it shows you that your best player is already locked in. He's locked. I in. mean, these games are important right now. I I, I know we don't we're not going to analyze it at such level because it's not the playoffs. But these are you know high stakes games where you need your best player to perform like this, especially when your second best is out for the year. So he has taken that leadership role as the guy. And listen, man, he's doing it against good defenders. I mean, Alex Caruso is rated a top three isolation defender in the NBA. And even in the last game that they lost against the Bulls, you saw he had to work for his his 30-plus points. Alex Caruso and Ayo Donsumo made him work for that. Yeah. And Brunson, man, I mean, I don't know what you can do to stop this guy. Uh, Kobe White says this guy is a bleeping, Nightmare. bleeping, bleeping Nightmare. guy. Like, he literally cursed. He cursed to describe Jalen Brunson. He's... So this excites me for the playoffs, CP, because I honestly yeah. don't think there's an answer for him. No, there's no stopping him. Um, this is an MVP caliber season. He deserves votes. He deserves recognition. I've said it for like months now that he's in top 10 in my ladder. Every time you see the official NBA.com ladder, he's nowhere near it, which is a joke. Maybe that will change next week. But, you know, the people that that watch him nightly, a.k.a. us, we see what it is. And, and we see him nightly cooking the individuals. You know, Caruso's an all-defensive player. He's an all-defensive player. First half of the first matchup, he puts 23 on him in the first half. And then tonight, it was like, well, you know, Caruso was coming off an injury, but it was like he was not even there. I mean, there was one play, I think it was the third quarter, and we're watching, me and the Knicks chick are watching, and Javante Green gets up in his airspace, right? It's Brunson at the top of the key, gets up in his airspace, and I'm like, oh, this is so cute. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said, this is so cute. And what does Brunson do? He proceeds to go get a three-point play, leaving him in his dust. It, it it was just it was just insane, and it, you know just being able to rise up to that moment, we haven't seen this in a long time, bro. a long time, bro. You know what's so crazy? That's so underrated that I know and you know, you know we got the NBA report. We you know we cover the NBA as well as the Knicks. Everyone knows that if Shea Gil- Gilgis Alexander or or anybody else. You know, even mid-tier stars that are 
more in the mainstream light. If they were missing their number two player, I don't even know if that those teams would be in a running to be a potential 50 win team. Yeah. This guy has missed Randall for I don't I, I can't even remember the last time Randall played in the NBA game. And how is it that this is a guy that from day to day really doesn't know who's gonna play? Is Mitch playing today? Is OG back? Right. Oh, he, oh, he's back. Okay, he's 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 back out because of the elbow. Okay, Mitch is back. No, he reaggravated the, the the leg. He's out. Oh, Hartenstein's on a minutes restriction because he's getting ramped up. I mean, <laughs> you are you kidding me? Like for him to deal with that much adversity. That many changing lineups, not knowing who got like if any up anybody else had to deal with that, they would already be the MVP. Everybody would be saying that that guy is the MVP. Yeah, easy. So it, it, it's so. I mean, we got someone on mainstream that thinks Quentin Grimes is still on the mix. <laughs> <laughs> once, once I once I heard that, I'm like, yeah, Jalen Brunson, he has no chance. AKA yeah. worst. He's not gonna win it. Worst take, Stephen A. But anyway. Here's a quote you're looking for. Tom Thibodeau and Jalen Brunson being sixth in the ESPN's MVP straw poll. I want to recount. That was Tibbs. Kobe White. Jalen Brunson's a family show. So there, there's that. And and more, man. Uh, just, just, just incredible what this guy has given this team all night, all season long. Back-to-back 40-point games. Four straight games with at least 35. And it's not only that. Look at the efficiency that he's getting it under. I mean, let's take a look. Do we got a Google Stat Muse on his last five? Is shooting efficiency. This is not, you know, high volume, just chucks. This is pure, as my guy just Gus Johnson would say on the telecast. Welcome back, Gus. Needed much more on these telecasts. Not sure what MSG is thinking by having Gus Johnson on the bench like that. We need Gus Johnson in the rotation full time. Just magnificent what this guy's giving our franchise, man. Michael Parker, one hundred dollars super chat. Salute to Michael Parker, man. Says you already know what it is. Salute Knicks Nation. Michael Parker, salute. Ten dollars super chat from the Rhyme Animal Chuck D. Says ugliness. We swamped it up. The Chicago, Illinois fans have to be like, how did this dude, Jalen Brunson, even leave the state? Yeah, those MVP chants are not benign. Billy Donovan is out the door to Kentucky. He he was putting it on him, man. Did you see Bro, Did you see Tory Craig's face when he hit one of those threes on, on the on the Bulls? Boy, boy, oh boy. If those walls could talk, man, he he, he was tight. <laughs> I'm telling you, you see the Kobe White reaction. You said you talk about the Tory Craig. We've heard Davion Mitchell, he, he, you know, say that he he's like the toughest guard he's had to defend. Yeah. Like these are ballers that are giving you the street like reactions and that street like response of what you would see, CP, if you play in the playground. Someone's right. cooking you. Like this is not like political stuff that yeah. these players are are like. These players sometimes they don't like to give credit. To right. other players on the court or show you on the court with a facial expression that you are one upping them. They don't like to do at that. At the highest level. But, at the highest level. Like, CP, it's like when you play ball at the ballpark. When someone's cooking you, you give them the respect. Like if if it's to yeah. a level where you don't know what to do, you're just like, man, I don't know. This dude is he's 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 going crazy right now. And he's playing at a level that these guys are going to their actual honest, transparent national reaction. Yeah. And and it's amazing to see. And I'll say this, CP, and the way he's playing, and you look at, okay, is there a ceiling because of no Julius? Quite possibly. But I'll tell you one thing. The Knicks just have to find a way to keep games close in the playoffs. Keep it close. And we'll see what happens. Because with yeah. that guy on the other side, if you keep That's a it. game close, you have a chance to shock the world. 